Component 5 Rating Determination for Educators Using STAR Student Growth Percentile. Prior to completing this exercise, educators may wish to review specifics regarding the use of Student Growth Percentile for Component 5. A copy of the SGP Explanation video can be found on the staff channel of the district website in the DPAS2 section. In addition to the video, an SGP FAQ document from REN Learning has also been uploaded as a resource. To get the necessary data in a workable format, we need to go into DSC. Click on iTracker Pro. Once inside iTracker Pro, look for the star growth summary by class report. The number of accessible reports varies by user, so while it's report 11 in this list, your list may be different. Once you've found the star growth summary by class report, double click it. In this example, Marsha Allen is the teacher. Notice there are two drop-down fields under her name, class homeroom and star assessment. Make sure that both drop-downs are accurate for the data you're pulling. In this case, Mrs. Allen is working on finding the median SGP of her reading classes. Ms. Allen has six courses listed on her schedule, four of which are language arts classes. Two are RTI classes. For Component 5, she needs to pull the data only for the courses for which she is considered the student's teacher of record for core instruction. That means it would be just the four language arts classes. RTI is in addition to students core ELA instruction and therefore do not need to be pulled. Select the first of the four ELA classes in the drop-down and make sure that the star assessment field is set to star reading and click run report. The report will look like this, providing students names along with their fall, winter, and spring benchmark data for reading. To save time manually copying all the data and calculating the SGP, we're simply going to export the data into an Excel spreadsheet and let Excel do that work for us. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and I'll look on the left hand side for the download to Excel button. This is what the Excel spreadsheet will look like after it's downloaded. Notice it contains all of her students as well as their fall, winter, and spring star data. First thing we want to do is go down to the bottom of the page and rename this tab. So right click, select rename, call this all students. We also want to make sure we save this to our desktop. So go to file, save as, desktop as the location, and let's save it as M. Allen 2017 star median SGP. Now before we click Save, notice that the file is a CSV file. We want to make sure that we change this to an Excel workbook file. Then click Save. So what we now have is a single Excel file containing the data from her first ELA class. We need to go back to iTracker Pro, download the data for her second, third, and fourth ELA classes, copy that data off the downloaded Excel sheet, and paste it onto the new Excel sheet that we just made. Our Excel sheet now contains the names and data of all students in her four ELA classes. Before moving on, we want to hide some of the extraneous data we have on the spreadsheet. In order to do that, put your cursor at the top of column A, 
left click and hold and drag across the first four columns. When they're all four are highlighted, let go, right click and click hide. The data is still there, it's simply hidden. So columns A through D are now hidden. We're left with the student name. Let's hide everything else after the student name except for the very last column, which is the spring SGP. To do that, highlight column F, drag it all the way across, right click, and click hide. So we're left with all of our students and their spring SGP. Let's click save. Now this is all of her students, but Mrs. Allen had five students that did not meet the 85% attendance requirement. Let's identify those students. They were Clint Eastwood, so let's highlight him in yellow. Goldie Hawn. Luke May. Ruth Ginsburg. And Elaine Venice. Those five students did not meet the 85% attendance requirement. Click Save. Our next step is to create an exact copy or duplicate of this worksheet. To do that, put your cursor on the tab at the bottom of the page and right click. Select Move or Copy, click Move to End and Create a Copy and press OK. We now have two identical worksheets. So let's rename that worksheet we just made. Go down to the tab name, right click, click rename, and let's call this verified roster. And click save. If we want this truly to be the verified roster, we need to remove those five names that we just highlighted. To do that, Go to the row, left click to highlight the entire row, right click and click delete. Let's do the same thing for the remaining four students that need to be excluded from the roster. Left click to highlight the row, right click, delete. Scroll down, left click to highlight, right click, delete. Left click, right click, delete left click, right click, delete, save. So our workbook now contains two worksheets, one that shows all students and one shows just the students on the verified roster. It's now time to calculate that median SGP. To do that, we're gonna let Excel do the work. So scroll to the bottom, skip down a few cells and type equals median. You see that blue box appear, double click it. And you'll notice your cursor, it starts to blink. Excel is now asking you, what is the range of numbers that you want to calculate the median for? Well, we need to go all the way back to the top of the Excel sheet, go to the first SGP and drag all the way down to create that series of numbers. So let's do that. Go to the top, put your cursor in, left click, and simply drag down. You get to the last number, let go of your mouse, click enter, and Excel automatically has calculated the median SGP of that range of numbers. It's 70. So behind it, I'm simply going to type median SGP and I'm going to push save. We're done. You now have a document that you'll take to your goal attainment conference to discuss with your evaluator and this same document will be uploaded in DSC as evidence for calculating this portion of component 5.